Post the COVID pandemic, the Indian two-wheeler market is beginning to regain some of its past glory in terms of sales. Motorcycle and scooter sales are picking up all over the country. India is by far the largest two-wheeler market in the world. Continental of Germany is focusing on this growing market in a big way. Continental develops pioneering technologies and services for sustainable and connected mobility of people and their goods. Founded in 1871, the technology company offers safe, efficient, intelligent and affordable solutions for vehicles, machines, traffic and transportation. In 2021, Continental generated sales of euros 33.8 billion and currently employs more than 190,000 people in 58 countries and markets. On October 8, 2021, the company celebrated its 150th anniversary. Continental Safety and Motion Business in India is committed to strengthening and providing enhanced safety to the mobility world with its strong manufacturing base in Bengaluru and Gurugram, supported by strong R&D from Technical Center of India. TCI is involved in several India-level and global-level projects, ranging from a for-the-market solution like one-channel ABS solutions for two-wheelers to highly sophisticated technologies for domains such as advanced driver assistance systems or ADAS and artificial intelligence. At Motown India, we visited the Continental Automotive Components India plant in Manasar in Gurugram in the North Indian state of Haryana. The plant is into the manufacturing of ABS, ESC and hydraulic brake systems. We spoke to Matthias Matic, Head of Safety and Motion Business Area, Continental Automotive Technologies GmbH Germany, as well as Prashant Doriswamy, President and CEO, Continental India. Well, we're working as a global team. Uh, the team in India is an integral part of our global team in all our aspects, in the production side as well as in the engineering side. So we're well connected, operating as a global team, and the team in India is contributing well to the global success. Uh, what about the R&D presence in the country here, and how, uh, how much of that is, you know, used in, in, in the global business? Well, we started in India with R&D as a support function for the global business, developing over the years step by step into fully independent possibilities in certain areas, for example, product like our one-channel ABS systems or certain releases on softwares for global business as well in India. So it's a combination of independent activities we're doing here for the local market in India but on the other side as well an integral part on contributing things for R&D, specifically on the software side for global business. And what does this plant specialize in? So this plant which we are located currently in Gurgaon, Gurgaon uh, is specialized in uh, uh, brakes, both electronic brakes, that's ABS, ele uh, <coughs> electronic stability control, so EEC, and also the HBS, which is hydraulic brake systems, which you conventional brake, what you see in the car. And as we go along, we are moving into a stage where electric vehicles are coming up in a big way. Uh, does that mean your uh, the flavor of your business change, uh, or does it remain the same? No, I would say this is an opportunity for us to bring in few more innovations to make our products much more adaptable to the electrification, electric vehicles as well, new power time. Otherwise, I would say no. Is it uh, safe to assume that uh, uh, most of your business comes from four-wheelers and two-wheelers maybe perhaps a, a small part of the entire business? Well, first of all, on a global scale, it's correct. The most of the business comes from four wheelers, uh, from four wheelers. Yeah, specifically in India, a big portion of our business comes out of a two wheeler market. India is the biggest and will remain the biggest two wheeler market in the world. So a lot of our activities in regards to two wheelers are driven out of India. Okay, Mr. Prashant, you talked about uh, something very innovative happening on the two wheeler front. Yeah. Uh, could you just reiterate on that? Uh, so we were talking about, okay, we bought in ABS and there's a new generation of ABS is being dollar for the two-wheeler, what we call it as a single channel ABS. 
its sub 250 cc segment apart from that there are additional features being introduced into the market be it be uh, optimized curb braking or what we call drive modes where it gives an opportunity for the rider to drive uh, opt for a correct mode where the abs braking efficiency is even further improved according to the surface he is driving okay so that is uh, this already on or for yes it's soon? already in production and also you see that in the market uh, with couple of our OEMs. As we move along uh, post the covid pandemic uh, is business picking up and do you see the indian automotive industry doing well as we go along? Yes very much uh, 2022 despite all the challenges what we had one covid impacting us uh, some amount of downturns and the other parts of the world impacting ukraine war impacting the raw material uh, the material economics uh, the headwinds we had semiconductor shortages we had Despite all this, I think if you look at the numbers uh, for automotive, I think uh, industry has really done well. Uh, and also the best part is we see a big demand, uh, which is uh, uh, in terms of the bookings, vehicle deliveries, which is available, that gives us a further opportunity. And we are very optimistic and I would say bullish to an extent that uh, India market is going to grow uh, in the coming years further may not be in terms of the uh, volumes that's another challenge so we are not chasing the numbers we are chasing the content per vehicle because the new gen vehicle there's a lot of content lot of features which is getting added so for our target is how do we grow the content per vehicle rather than number of vehicles are indian vehicles now uh, at par in terms of technology uh, with the ones which are made abroad well, in general, in, uh, Indian is a following market when it comes to vehicle technologies. But in the recent years, with the increase in legislation, specifically on the safety side, India is catching up on the way to catch up. There are specific market environments, specific market uh, fields where functionality at affordable cost are a high requirement for the India market where India takes the lead on the four-wheel side as well as on the two-wheel side. And this is where we provide our technologies or the right technologies for the demand of the Indian market. And just a genuine question, how green is your business? <laughs> when it comes to sustainability, you're asking uh, the, uh, the question, that's a big topic, that's a transition topic for the entire industry, it's a transition topic for us. It starts with a green product where we are offering green caliper solutions, for example, towards green production, green manufacturing with an entirely green supply base is a way to go, a big topic for us. We want to become green, we're on the way to become green. Thank you very much, wish you the very best. Sir. Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Thank you.